Howdy everyone, it's me Grace, and welcome back. I hope you all had a fantastic Thanksgiving break and ate all the food that you wanted, whether or not you were celebrating in the United States. I hope you did whatever the heck you wanted this past weekend. And now that we're all descending into the darkest part of the year, I wanted to make some tree ornaments for my shop. And if you feel like following along with me at home and making some ornaments of your own, I would love that. And if you wanted to show me what you ended up making while watching this, that's even better. You all have been kind enough to ask me some questions today, so this is gonna be a bit longer and a bit chattier of a video, but I hope you like it. Don't forget to get yourself a snack and a warm drink. Let's settle in and get to crafting. Today is a particularly cold and rainy day, so it's really putting me in the mood to nestle down in my craft room and make these ornaments. I wanted to go with a darker aesthetic for these, so you'll be seeing a lot of little monsters and spirits among the pine trees, candy canes, and snow. I have these woodcut rounds with little holes on top, so I can tie a thread through them when I'm done. The wood is already smooth and ready for paint, and I found acrylic paint works great on these too. The first scene is a snowy pine tree with a big glowy-eyed monster in the background. While I paint all these ornaments, I'll be answering some questions. I'll start with Ariana C's question from Patreon. Hi Grace, I've been wanting to know how you're dealing with everyday life and if you'll be focusing more on crafty stuff instead of cosplay. I love the rebranding of your channel and seeing you make more art stuff. It's been helping me with my balancing. Thank you so much, Ariana. I am so glad that you're liking the new videos. I'm doing great now. It's definitely been a transitional, eye-opening year for me to say the least. This year has had its high highs and its low lows. And with that being said, I don't think I will ever stop cosplaying, especially the past few months with designing cosplays of my own and creating my own characters. It's been so much fun. So to answer your question, I believe that I'll always primarily be making costumes and cosplay on this channel um, with some other things sprinkled in now and then. And speaking of cosplay, I've been gathering some materials to make a new cosplay that I'll be starting very soon. I am so happy to hear you've been enjoying my craft videos. Thank you. They've been really enjoyable and relaxing to make, and it's refreshing to make things that I can be done with in a couple days and have that satisfaction of finishing a project as compared to something fully involved, like a cosplay that can take a few months to finish. Next is Dustin Woods on Patreon who asked, will you ever help Adam make a Titanic cosplay costume? like a giant armor suit, etc. because he is a titan of a man. <laughs> Thank you for your question, Dustin. Adam has approached me and has asked if I would help him make a Master Chief costume on more than one occasion. And I think that would be really cool to help him put together something like that because he would make a great Master Chief. Nightwing on Patreon asks, Hello Grace, do you listen slash watch anything while working on cosplay or crafts? Thank you Nightwing, I watch a lot of YouTube and I'll talk about a couple channels that I've been really enjoying lately. Uh, Stephanie Harlow here on YouTube, she is a true crime researcher and commentator and I can't say enough great things about her. She is extremely entertaining while remaining truthful and fair and compassionate and I highly, highly recommend her channel. I also love Glam Goth on YouTube. She is an entrepreneur with her own makeup line and her chatty makeup videos are my favorite. She has such a soft, nice voice and talks about some really interesting topics. You can't help but be in a good mood when you watch her videos. I also watch a lot of cosplay, LARP, and art channels, and I'll list some of my favorites here. Also, let me know if you have any suggestions for me because I'm always looking for new content to enjoy. 
Kristen ODW asks, as a fellow cat owner, have you ever found a way of preventing errant hairs from sticking to paint jobs? Or do you just paint over them and hope no one notices like I do? <laughs> Kristen, I am just like you. Cat hair gets into everything I'm doing all the time. <laughs> I just feel like that's a part of life when you have these fuzzy little creatures as companions. So I do try to pick them out when I see them, but sometimes they just slip by and the paint dries and that's just how it goes. <laughs> Stephanie H. asks, you said in the past that you're originally going to post-secondary for comic book design, if I remember correctly. If given the opportunity, would you go back to that career path? You have a great memory, Stephanie. <laughs> yes, I did go to one semester of a private art college before transferring to a state university and completely changing majors. When I started art school, I majored in sequential art, also called comic art, but I quickly figured out it just wasn't for me. <laughs> I'm grateful for being able to try it out, but I'm really happy with my career path and I wouldn't exchange it for a different experience. Sertowin asks, what is one part of it all that still surprises you? <laughs> Well, that is quite the general question, but I'll say I'm still surprised whenever I check my comment section. I'm always floored by how kind and passionate this little community is, and you all are my happy place. Whether you're new or old, I am just so grateful that you're here. Danielle C.A. asks, Being an officer is tough, especially right now. Is there, or has there ever been, a time where you just are done and over it? Oh yeah, I get tired, but I love what I do. I became an officer because I saw others experience injustice and wanted to be the change I wish to see in the world. And doing the right thing is hard sometimes. <laughs> and facing adversity sucks, but it's all worth it. Danielle also asks, any ideas for couples cosplay, like Hercules and Meg, or how to train your dragon, Hiccup's parents? <laughs> Danielle, that is so cool <laughs> that you said Hiccup's parents, because my husband and I have actually already cosplayed them, but I love your idea of Hercules and Meg. Alexandra Hargett asks, do you ever sometimes lose motivation for crafting and how do you get back into the groove? That's a great question. I definitely lose motivation sometimes. Recently, I have loved the watercolor painting in between projects. To me, painting is such a nice palette cleanser. There's no pressure and it really tickles a part of my brain that helps me feel motivated again. If you're interested, I also made a video about cosplay burnout where I talk about things I do to recover and I hope it helps you. Cobwebs and Candlesticks asks, I'm sure this has crossed your mind, but have you ever considered transitioning from your day job to YouTube full time? And what would be the catalyst to make the switch? I have definitely thought about it. I feel like this is something that crosses every creator's mind. And uh, with the income of my online business now, it's not really feasible for me to switch jobs and I don't really feel like 
I'm in a place in my day job where I would want to switch jobs. Uh, however, <laughs> things can always change. Uh, and if that were ever an option for me, I would definitely seriously consider it. Sinon asks, was there anything in particular that inspired you to create your own characters and make cosplays for them? Thank you, Sinon. The LARP community was a huge inspiration. <laughs> you were so funny. <laughs> Tamara Lynn Chambers asks, Grace, your videos make me feel so cozy and calm. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Tamara. I make videos and am way more wild and loud in them than my real life aesthetic. Not that you weren't always cool, calm, and collected, but was it an easy transition for you into a more peaceful role? That is an awesome question. Thank you so much, Tamara. First of all, there is nothing wrong with being wild and loud. It's so fun. I love your videos and I love people who are wild and loud. <laughs> they make me feel energetic like they are. Um, for me, I think it was just like a necessary transition. I just like needed a little bit more calm and chill in my life. And it was a really easy transition for me to start doing more chill <laughs> videos. And it makes me so happy that they make you feel cozy and calm because I just want to make people feel cozy and calm. <laughs> I think we all need a little bit more of that. Thank you so much, Tamara. And thank you all so much for participating and submitting your questions. You made this video really fun to make. And for those questions that I didn't get to, don't worry, I'm gonna save yours for next time. And if you liked one of the ornaments I made today, they'll be available in my shop, which I've listed below. This week's Makers of the Week include Alexa Rose Cosplay on Instagram, who showed me her wonderful Falk cosplay from the Wayhaven Chronicles. Grace Pixaldo made a Tuscan Raider costume in her dorm. How cool. And staying with the Star Wars theme, Badger Notre Dame on YouTube made a Jawa cosplay. Fantastic work. Thank you all so much for taking the time to show me what you create. It really makes my day. I hope you have a delightful and cozy day, and I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.